Okay, hey Taurus, so this is going to be a general reading, Taurus. I'm getting like, your intuition is protecting you from a group of elites or something like that. Like, you keep calling something out here. That's what I'm getting. Or somebody can't do something to you because of your intuition here. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, what's going on here? Um, like the only thing that this group of elites can do to you is like try to mess with your, uh, pinnacles. That's what I'm getting, but you just keep overcoming. You keep leveling up and you keep moving forward. Like you, somebody, somebody can't stand you. <laughs> somebody can't stand you because like somebody can't destroy you. So somebody's like, damn, I can't stand towards like somebody's mad because of like how strong you are. Or how resilient you are. That's what I, I'm telling you. Like the only thing that these individuals can do. Is try to mess with your money. But see you are not attached to material possessions. So it's really pointless. That's why you're blessed by the universe. That's why you're highly favored. Like you are a good person here. That's what I'm getting towards. Yeah like somebody doing something to you. Somebody could have been trying to do some type of ritual on you and like block your money or something like that somebody wanted to end your money like somebody felt like that would destroy you but you only like it made you stronger like everything these individuals do to you it only makes you stronger every time every time what's going on here I'm getting somebody is also like heartbroken here as well because like they can't destroy you. They can't destroy you. <laughs> yeah, like somebody is heartbroken. Somebody thought like they were going to block your money and that was going to have you in a, like a tower or something like that. But no, you overcame, you leveled up, you turned it into power and you use whatever you know, obstacle you were dealing with, like that just motivated you to better yourself, create more opportunities for yourself, expand, get out there and branch and do new things like branch out. And that's what you did or that's what you're doing. Like somebody is upset that you're not upset over money. Yeah, like you're not, this is crazy. You're gonna overcome all of this is what I'm getting. Taurus, what's going on here? You're go going to overcome all of this here. Yep, you're going to overcome all of this here. I'm telling you. Yeah, and you're going to boss up. You're about to level up. So after somebody did some underhanded to try to block your money or did some type of spell work on your money, you're about to level up. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody was also foolish for something that they did to you here as well. Yep, uh, you can have somebody, an emperor energy that feels foolish for partnering up with somebody to like cause you a tower moment financially. There's somebody that partnered up with another person to cause you a tower moment financially. And that's like that individual feels foolish for doing that. Yep, telling you, somebody is in regret. Somebody feels foolish. Somebody feels foolish for something that they did to you to block your money. Because, like, you just keep growing and you mind your business. Like, you don't care. I mean, it is what it is. And this person is sitting looking silly for doing something. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, what's going on here? I'm telling you, like somebody really is like trying to do something to block your money or cause you a tower moment. Somebody wants you to feel like you're a failure is what I'm getting. And I got this energy for you in a previous reading, which I have not put out yet. So I may put that reading out with this reading, but somebody wants you to feel like you're a failure is what I'm getting. So you won't feel like you're an empress or something like that here. And it could be an emperor energy that was involved in doing this. And he worked with a feminine energy. That's what I'm getting here.
Yeah, uh, this person only did this to you because somebody lied to this person and told this person that you did not deserve a job opportunity or you were not like skilled or something like that. Or yeah, like, wow. Okay, somebody saw you succeeding and the fact that you were succeeding and growing showed that, should have showed this person that you deserve some type of opportunity. But no, somebody felt like you didn't deserve it because somebody didn't like you and was being judgmental or somebody didn't want you to look at yourself as an empress or somebody this person was working with didn't or, you know, dealing with didn't want you to look at yourself as an empress. So somebody had to go out and do some type of spell work to interfere in your money and slow your money down or get you fired or something like that so that somebody would not look at you as if you were an empress so this could be like a third party or you know a feminine energy masculine energy a plot of roses they fit that didn't want another feminine energy or a masculine energy looking at you like you were an emperor or empress or like you were somebody that was divine so this individual did something to your money to try to slow you down and like stop you from moving forward. And that's the only reason why somebody did something. That's what I'm getting. And the reason why you got somebody here that helped this person do this to you. Was because somebody lied to this person. And manipulated this person into working to get you fired. I'm telling you. What's going on here? Yeah, I'm not going to make this much longer. Yep. Can't make it up. <laughs> Can't make it up. What's going on here? What did I just say? What did I just say? I'm telling you, like, somebody worked to stop your money or block your money. It's a couple. It's two people. A queen of cups and this emperor energy here worked to do this to you, but you're a good person and you're innocent. So it shouldn't have happened to you. That's what I'm getting. Something that you are doing or something that is like, it's something that's your life purpose or your calling. And like somebody like tried to end that for you or ended that for you abruptly. Like it was unexpected. And like somebody sat back and celebrated. This queen of cups, whoever this individual is, this person was happy because like her emperor, like she felt like her emperor was not going to look at you like you was divine because like your money slowed down or something. Maybe he could be, you know, kind of materialistic or some, you know, take it how it resonates. But like, she knows that this man was looking at you like you're divine because like, I don't know what you do for a living here. I'm also getting like, you could be a public figure or I don't know. She's watching you and she doesn't want her lover to look at you like you're divine or something like that. It's going to backfire on both of them. It's going to backfire on both of them. So you ain't even got to do nothing here, Taurus. You are the star. You are somebody that's divine. You are somebody that's wise. You are somebody that's spiritual. I'm also getting like a sage here. And like somebody's karmic ass lover is insecure as hell. And like sees you as a threat. This could even be like an emperor energy that you ain't even interested in. This could legit like be her lover and she did something to slow you down, but you're not even interested in this emperor energy. And for some, this emperor energy is not interested in you either. Maybe he holds you in high honor because of something that you do for a living. But that doesn't mean this man want to be with you, but she insecure as hell. Whoever this queen of cups is, any sign. Her insecure ass was like, oh no, I'm going to stop that and like slow down your money. Or got you fired or something like that. I'm also getting flagging. Could have been like flagging you or reporting you or something. When you ain't even did nothing to slow you down. So her man wouldn't look at you like you are somebody that's divine. Because she's that damn insecure. For some meanwhile, this man ain't even interested in being with you. Or you ain't interested in his ass. So like she did all of this to you for no reason is what I'm getting. And like, I don't know, this queen of cups could have even like manipulated this man. Like lied to this man and had this man trying to like destroy you and end your money. Yeah, like you don't want to be with this. You're not, this is somebody you don't want to be with or you're not dealing with.
Yep. I'm telling you, like, you're not even interested in this man. Yeah, you don't see this man as wish fulfillment. You don't want to be with this man. So her ass and got you fired because she insecure as hell. And she didn't want her man looking at you like you're somebody that's divine because something that you do, maybe it's like he holds you in high honor for something that you do. And she insecure as hell because it like she's mad that you get attention. For some, this Queen of Cups energy could like be somebody that you know. And she's mad that you get attention because you're held in high honor for something that you do or like you get it like i don't know this is weird and like she's mad because she doesn't want her man to hold you in high honor maybe this couple is in competition with this is what this pisses me off this pisses me off and this is why you got to watch who you have around you and watch who you deal with here taurus or deal with people accordingly because you can have a whole ass couple that's in competition with you. And like somebody's insecure ass lover did something to slow your money down. So their man or woman would look at you as somebody that's divine. Because whatever you do is like their lover holds you in high honor for it. So somebody did something to your money to slow you down or something like that. In regards to somebody you don't even want to be with. You would never be with. You would never deal with. You're not interested in. You don't care about none of that. What's going to be the outcome of this situation here? Wow. Okay. In regards to your intuitive gifts, stop holding back. Um, That's what somebody wanted you to do. Somebody wanted you to hold back in regards to your intuitive gifts here. Because didn't I tell you that your intuition is protecting you from some type of like a group of elites? So these two can have money or something like that here. Or, yeah, this is weird. <laughs> then what did I just say? What did I just say, man? It's like you're guarded. Maybe you could even like be one to like whoever you are, you use your intuitive gifts to help other people. Somebody doesn't want you doing that. Somebody doesn't want you doing that. This is a karmic act. You know what I'm really getting here, Taurus? Uh, whoever this Queen of Cups is, this could be a karmic. And see, she's in a relationship with somebody, and like, but she's a karmic. She doesn't want somebody either hearing you or like she doesn't want you helping someone using your intuitive gifts to help light workers and star seeds come up out of these karmic ass cycles and karmic ass relationships with people that don't really like she sees him as her property. That's what I like. She sees him as her property. So she feels like destroying you will stop him from seeing his light. Because if this man was to really see his light, he wouldn't want to be with this Queen of Cups. That's why she worked so hard to shut you up, silence you, and destroy you. Because if this man was to really see his light and see that he can like take his power back, then he wouldn't want to be with her. Because she's karmic. She's a karmic lesson to him. So what did she do? She destroyed your money or shut you down or... She could have even like tried to like silence you. She tried to silence you so this man wouldn't like hear what you had to say or something like that. Yeah, she insecure as hell, whoever she is. And unhealed. And like crazy. Crazy. It's like that's too many, but it's like every time you do something or like say for instance like you're on a platform or something it's like she like every time you say something or every time you do something like she immediately like the first thing she do does is flag you and that like accumulation of flags has like whatever platform you're on thinking that you're doing something wrong but you're not you're not doing anything 
this is some type of spiritual warfare. So like somebody could be like trying to shadow ban you or you're being shadow banned because like there's an emperor energy who's karmic insecure as lover. Every time you do something or post or anything, the first thing she does is flag. The first thing I'm telling you. So it has some type of, you know, platform thinking that you're doing something wrong, but you're not. That's why you're being shadow banned. But that was too many. Yeah, we have fallen to my arms, holding the opposites, extremes of life. We have earth school, life lesson, souls, growth, study, higher learning. So I'm really getting like whatever this is you're dealing with, it's like, like I said, it, it's making you grow. It's helping you grow. It's helping you expand. Um, I'm also getting something in regards to financial freedom here as well. Like, yeah. Like whoever you are, whatever this is that happened, it pushed you towards a career where like you're going to be making like 10K a month. If you're creating something, you're going to be selling something like, I don't know, like, wow. Okay, so you selling whatever it is you're creating, whatever you, you're selling. I'm also getting something in regards to a sculpture here. When you start doing sculptures, so you could be like, you're doing sculptures here as well, but whatever it is you're creating, whatever it is you're building, like you're going to be making like, I don't know, or like one piece may sell for like 500. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, we have Star Brothers, Hidden Secrets, Lost Wisdom, Look a Little Deeper. Um, it's some type of hidden information here. It's something that you're not seeing. That's what I'm getting. Let me see. And then I'm going to end it. Anything else here? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm getting what you're not seeing is you are very skilled. <laughs> you are very capable. You are capable. You are a natural born leader. That's what I'm getting. You're very capable. Um, you need to get out of your head because whoever you are, whatever this is you were dealing with, has you feeling like you don't belong or you aren't skilled. And it could be because like it's some type of lack of progress. You feel like you're not making progress because every time you do something, you're being flagged by somebody's karmic ass lover is what I'm getting. So it has you feeling like you're not making any progress or moving forward. But I'm telling you, like, keep your... Keep whatever you're doing to yourself. Keep whatever you're doing to yourself. Somebody also like, I don't know. It's like you're working. You feel like you have to work harder or something like that because somebody is slowing you down. Somebody is slowing you down and you like, you could have been guarded. You could have been feeling defensive. What's happening is, is somebody's karmic lover flags you every time you like, Whatever this is you're doing. Like I said, you could be on a platform. You're intuitive here. You use your intuition to help other people. There's somebody that's in a relationship with somebody that's controlling as hell. A karmic lover. Somebody has a karmic lover that's controlling. Somebody sees their like significant other as property, not as an individual. So when you encourage this person to take their power back, this person could be spiritual. For some, this is a masculine energy. But every time you encourage this person to take their power back, their karmic lover feels insecure because their karmic lover feels like they're not going to have control over their lover anymore. In a relationship, you should not seek to have control over somebody. Whoever this karmic is, she's insecure. She feels like she's not enough. She's refusing to do the healing work. She feels like she's not enough for the masculine energy she's in a relationship with. Because she's not going to do the healing work. But he could be spiritual. He wants to heal and move forward. But she feels like if he heals, grows, then like he's going to break up with her or something. Because she's like in some low vibrational energy. 
Once he knows his worth and he knows his value. So what is she doing? She's suppressing you because like you encourage this man to take his power back. You encourage this man to be his true authentic self. You encourage this man to see his light. You should not be in a relationship with somebody that cannot respect you as an individual. Because when people don't respect you as an individual, they try to control you. When people don't want to do the healing work, they try to control their partner. They get on that insecure shit. Then people start, you know, trying to track your location. People start, you know, doing all kind of weird stuff. Trying to mirror your phone. Putting little secret apps to like mirror your phone and whatever you put. Like all of that. When you are grounded in who you are as a person, you would never do anything like that. Matter of fact, you would never be in a relationship with somebody that you feel like you have to do that with. Because when you know your worth and when you know your value, when things get to that point, you would in a matter of fact, you were in a relationship before it even got to that point. When you know your worth and you know your value. You're not going to try to prove your worth and your value to anybody either. And you for damn sure ain't going to silence somebody or try to shut somebody up that's encouraging people to know their worth and know their value. So that's what's going on here, Taurus. Every time you upload, you get flagged. Every time. And it's the same karmic ass lover. It's the same person's karmic ass lover. And this person could have been feeling some type of way about you. This emperor energy, his karmic ass lover, like she sees you as competition. So she was manipulating this man to get this man to help her try to silence you and all of that. And I'm telling you right now, something is going to backfire on both of these individuals. Man, look, I'm ending it there.